Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to create a histogram and alternative method in case um, your version of Excel does not have the same options that I used in my other video that I made on creating a histogram. So what we're going to do is we are going to select our data. So I actually want to select everything um, in my enrollment category. To do this easily you can do control shift and down or you can just use your mouse to scroll down to highlight it all. Once you have it highlighted, I am going to go to insert and I'm going to choose the graph right here that looks like a histogram. When I go down on this, it actually allows me to insert a histogram. And then I just want to drag it so it's not covering anything else up. And we're going to title this whatever the information is. In my case, the information that I have on the screen is the enrollment. Um, I am going to add an axis. I'm going to add an axis title for the vertical so that we know that this is the frequency. And what it's going to do down here is it's going to give you the class limits. Um, it's actually going to give you the lower class limits is how it's going to label this. And it's going to go everything from here to the next point. Um, when you set up your cumulative frequency distribution, it went up until your upper class limit. So your cumulative frequency might be, I mean, sorry, your frequency might be slightly different because of the way that we use this. As long as it's really close, it's okay. Um, I know what it's doing and why it's slightly different on here. For this one, it works out perfectly, but on another one that I had, um, it was slightly different because of the way that it's Excel is formatted. Um, with frequency, it counts everything up to that point and not um, the next value. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up so that it looks relatively the same as this. Like I said, if you can do the other one, it's better because it will use the frequency that you have here. So what we have to do is we have to format this screen and I need to pull up the formatting. So I'm just going to hit the size and properties um, right here. And what I want to do is I want to go to horizontal axis. I want to change the horizontal axis. Right now we only have three bins and what we want is six. Um, so I'm going to click the little graph icon and I'm going to go to axis options. Um, you could put in the number of bins being six. Um, and it's going to be similar to what you have here. It may be exactly what you have here because remember that we used round up in the class width. Um, it does, it could look slightly different, but for this one it actually, um, is similar. Notice that it's counting by 4,833.5. So what we can do is once we get it into our six, we could go back and change this to what we used up here. So the 4,034, the 834, and I can type that in whatever your class width is another name for the bin width. So we can just put that in here. Um, like I said, this is just another workaround if the other chart element doesn't work for you in your version of Excel. As always, thanks for watching.